everybody. Welcome to Ellis Mowers. I appreciate y'all watching. This video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I guess a couple weeks ago, I had a company reach out to me uh, asking if they could send some product my way. And I was like, sure. Um, I mean, I'm, here I am, a channel of about 2,000, give or take, subscribers, and they um sought me out and asked me if i wanted to try out some product which is great so um let me show you what i've got and we'll show you how we're going to use it real quick and then we're going to get into using it um we have let me show you so i gave i got a nice box i'll just kind of show you and it came with a bunch of cool little items and they came from the company called super clean so, they sent me all kinds of goodies here, including a very nice t-shirt. Very nice. I'll, I'll definitely wear that while we're trying it out. And uh, military camo hat. It's great that they um, support the military, support our troops. Um, seem to be a pretty upstanding company from what I can tell, which is great. Um, so, we, well, I'll show you. Here's what we got here. Um, got all kinds of different products we're going to use in different, different applications. So, their regular degreaser, and their, it's a new Easy Spray aerosol can, it looks like. So, it uh, looks like the same formula, just in two different ways to apply it to whatever. Um, and then also the foaming and the wheel cleaner. So the foaming, it looks like, is a similar formula, except it causes it to foam, which I feel like would be a lot easier to see it in action working, if you know what I mean. And then the wheel cleaner, getting away brake dust and all that good stuff. And then floor absorbent, like absorbing spills and whatnot, if you... Uh, get oil and whatnot on the floor and then they kind of gave me a nice welcome package along with the t-shirt and and whatnot a couple of extra spray nozzles in there so first off thank you super clean for uh giving me a little give me a shot i think your product is going to be good every video that i saw of other lawn care professionals using it seems like they had very good results so, what I found is you can find these in most places that sell degreasers, especially like automotive degreasers and stuff like that. So, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it at auto parts stores. So, let me take you on a tour of what we're going to do with these products while I've got them. Again, thank you, Super Clean. Um, they're just giving me these to try. So if they don't work, I'll tell you they don't work. But I have a feeling that they're going to work. So I got three things in mind to use it on. The first one is my element. I've got, a, um, I guess, a ride with a bunch of other people who drive Honda Elements coming up. And uh, I need to get this thing clean. As you can see, I'm going to use the all-wheel cleaner for um, the wheels because the wheels are getting mighty dirty. Just remember I haven't washed it in a couple of months. So we're gonna test out the all-wheel cleaner on this. We're going to test out the all-wheel cleaner on this Craftsman right here that I used another cleaning product on. It didn't get this dirt and grime off of the wheels from where it had been sitting, I guess, outside for a really long time. One other thing I want to see, and I don't know if we'll be able to see in this video, but the other cleaner that I use actually kind of leaves a little bit of a residue on the lawnmowers, which isn't really a big deal, but if it's going to be an added bonus, because I know that degreasers aren't used, or not supposed to be used for paint, but it would be kind of an added bonus if, it leave, if Super Clean leaves less residue or no residue on it. So... Um, like I said, thank you, Super Clean, 
thanks for seeking out a little channel like me and sending me probably $25 worth of product here. Give or take. We'll give it a shot. Let me show you the third project I'm going to use it on outside in the garage. So here's the third project I'm going to use it on out here. Um, and it's this wheel horse. It has been sitting in a shed for a good three or four years. And probably hasn't been washed in a really, really long time. Now, I don't know if you can see, but we've got a bunch of oily residue on the engine here that we need to get off. So you can see it on my finger there. And uh, I figure this all caked on oil and whatnot will be a good um, a good test for all of those degreaser products, especially the especially the degreasers. We'll try a little bit of foaming action, a little bit of regular degreaser, and see what we got here. So that's the third project. Um, I'm going to use a pressure washer, an electric pressure washer, for all the applications, and we will see how it does. I think we're going to have good results though, so let's get started on the first project. Okay y'all, well first project here. I'm going to try a more common application that most of y'all or many people will use as opposed to cleaning absolutely nasty lawnmowers like I will. So the first application, I'm going to clean my element. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to use degreaser on it, but I am going to use the uh, all-wheel cleaner here. So I'm going to clean the wheels, and that's what I usually do first whenever I clean a vehicle, is clean the wheels before I start washing the rest of the vehicle. Um, and looking at the instructions, I don't know how well it shows up on camera. However, it says clean one wheel at a time, rinse with cold water thoroughly before applying it. You coat the surface with the cleaner and then allow, allow it to work for about 30 seconds. Um, you can agitate it with a soft brush or sponge and then you rinse it and then you can dry it to prevent water spots. So, and also down in the bottom it does say if hazing or spots appear, discontinue use and it recommends testing it on an inconspicuous area before actually using it so don't blame the company they have warned you warned you if something happens i mean these are pretty tough degreasers right here so you do have some compromises or not compromises but some side effects just like just like basically taking a medicine so It also says wear rubber gloves and safety glasses. Um, so anyways, just be very cautious while you use this. So let me hook up the water and let's start on the element. All right, so as I mentioned before, I'm using an electric pressure washer to do this. We're gonna do our best to follow the instructions on the uh, bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, give, give the wheel a good rinse first. And now we'll uh, let it, we'll go ahead and spray it. So it says wait 30 seconds. It's actually got a pretty decent smell. 
or kind of different smell to it. All right, I think that's 30 seconds. Let's uh, wash it off. really not bad um, like I said I followed the instructions and uh, it seemed to work pretty well so uh, hopefully that shows up on camera for you I'm gonna go ahead and do the other wheels and I think that was about the dirtiest of the four that's pretty good what I usually do is I wipe them down after and uh, once they kind of get a little bit drier but you can wipe them down just to get the remaining kind of maybe a little bit of residue off so you don't have water spots and stuff like that um and yeah so that worked well i'll show you one other thing i like to use the degreaser portion on or like to use degreaser don't recommend it if you have a vehicle like this where it has a clear coat and a metallic paint on it but i have a couple vehicles here that have just you know base paint with no clear coat or anything like that or just trashy paint so I've got, what I'll do next, really quickly, is wash my, not wash my fit, but I'm just going to see if I can take the bugs off the front of this. And what I usually do is I'm going to, as I spray some degreaser, and it just wipes these bugs off. So that's my next experiment. I'm going to take the regular degreaser. And remember, this is a non-metallic paint. I don't really care about the paint on this car. So if you care about your paint, I would not recommend you try it unless you, like I said, try it on an inconspicuous area before you do it because you don't want to have any clear coat residue or stuff and or stuff like that. So especially a lot of, if you have like an economy car like this or like I said, a paint that you don't really care about, it's a good way to get the bugs off without having to wipe it down too much. So I'm going to get the regular degreaser out. We're going to do this a little unconventional way here and uh, see if it takes the bugs off. All right, so it does not say to pre-wash this in water or anything. Like I said, I'm using the uh, regular, the regular degreaser for this. I'm just gonna spray it directly on the paint. Again, if you have nice paint, try it on an area that you don't know before. You can see, I don't know if you can see. I'll show you a couple of these. Ugh, the bugs are literally melting off of the surface here. So, and I think you can see how much there are. Again, I'm just testing this out. Super Clean gave me some product, and I'm just testing it out to see. And hopefully, some of y'all are just kind of enjoying the experiment. This is basically all this video is, is some experiments. So let me... I've let it sit for a minute or so. It says do not let it dry, so I'm going to go ahead and wash it off.
I have to say that worked pretty well, don't you? Let's give it a, I'll give it a look here after it dries in a second. All right, so this was done with no sort of wiping down or whatsoever. I literally just spray the degreaser, the super clean on the front, let it sit for about a minute and wash it off. And you saw where the bugs were before. You don't even see them now, which is awesome. It even works better than the other degreaser that I usually use. So I'm very happy with that. Um, other places I like to use the degreaser portion of this, of this is on windshields. And you can see residue on the, uh, I haven't used it, I didn't use it on the mirrors. But the mirrors, where they stick out, um, I also like to use it under the wheel wells of cars. That way you get all the, that grime and debris and stuff off of it there sometimes i will use it on areas like this obviously on the mirrors um, again be very very careful test test it on your paint i know super clean doesn't necessarily recommend using it on paint um, but like for this i have the whole plastic bumper on the front here I just spray it on, watch the bugs melt off, um, and a couple other spots. Sometimes I'll spray it up on the doors a little bit to get to get some of that residue off there from where the, the um, stuff's been kicked up from the tires, and also back here on places that stick out that catch some bugs and debris and stuff like that. So those are areas that you potentially could use them. I know that. Uh, Super Clean probably doesn't recommend them just because, probably for legal reasons and stuff like that. However, I have not had an issue working, using it on places like that. And I wanted to test it out on my fit there first before I test it out on my element because the paint on the fit's in a lot worse shape. And I don't really care about that paint. It's a good test subject. So let me get to work. I'll clean the element. I'll show you the final product and then we'll move on to the next tougher project for uh, the Super Clean, which is those uh, dirty lawnmowers. All right, so I still got to do the tire shine and then do some wipe down on the panels to make them more shiny. But for the purposes of this, in terms of trying out the Super Clean, this thing is done. Um, like I mentioned, I used it on the mirrors and you can kind of see a little residue, but like I said, I use um, I use a product to make the panels black, and that corrects that issue with no problem. Um, what I did on the front is I sprayed it with uh, sprayed it with a little bit of water before I sprayed it with Super Clean, and uh, it seems like it did a good job. And there's not as much residue that way. It just kind of dilutes. The product a little bit so you have to kind of spray a little bit harder the wheels pretty darn clean for what they are i got to clean around the rim a little bit but ooh. so that's i don't know that's all the brake dust that i um, got off after i used the super clean the wheel cleaner so uh, it did a very good job getting the brake dust off without even having to wipe it off. Um, again, this is about, probably about, I know two long trips worth, probably about four or 5,000 miles worth of uh, driving brake dust wise. But I'm gonna go ahead and get going and uh, we're gonna try the uh, Green Craftsman lawnmower next to see if I can get all that crazy dirt off of uh, off of those tires all right so next order of business I brought this green craftsman up like I said we've got this I don't know if it's like mildew or anything off these on or on these tires I know I've got some dirt right here I'm really curious to see if we can get it off of these tires um, <clears throat> again I mean they're they're okay, you can see some dry rod in the tires. 
but the rest of the mower did clean with that other cleaner this is the big test though again I'm not we're just testing things out here I'm not you know just trying to help you all out in terms of getting mowers and stuff cleaner now so there's your tires um, let me turn on the pressure washer and bring your tripod over here got turn my water back on as well and I'll put y'all right here And again, I'll just use the regular stuff this time. I'll go ahead and spray it on the wheel as well. Let me do the back wheel also. One other thing I did notice, it seems like it takes a lot less to uh, get get things clean as well than what I'm used to using. <clears throat> and I'm just spraying it directly on the tire just for maximum maximum uh, footage or maximum coverage, maximum strength here. You can kind of already see it. I'm trying to break that stuff up right there a little bit. This is going to be a tough job for this. So let's see. Let's just see how much it can do in terms of getting this stuff off. Did a good job, did a good job on that one, it looks like. Pretty good on that side. Let's come over here. Get y'all a little closer. Pretty good guys, pretty good. You just kind of see it foaming off as well. That's pretty good. You can see it did a really good job with the tires. Let me turn the pressure washer off. Did a really good job with the tires. Once all this dries, I'll kind of show you if there's any residue left. Like I said, we'll let it dry, but um, did a very good job on the wheels. So um, the last thing I'm gonna do 
I'll try out the other products, um, save for the floor absorber on that wheel horse. So we'll check after this dries, make sure everything's good on it, and then we'll move on to the wheel horse. Alrighty, I'll let it dry and just take a look at the difference in those wheels and tires especially. Did a really good job, really, really good job. Um, again, worked better than the other cleaner I use. And just for the record, the other cleaner I usually use is Purple Power. So you are paying about twice as much for this, about $8 for a gallon of it if you do, if you do decide to get it at Walmart. Which honestly isn't too bad because it's really been relatively effortless to get all this mess off of these tires. Obviously in these wheels there is a little bit of rust residue just from perpetual rust that's just been sitting a while. And so it does have a little bit of mark here which I can actually wipe off with my finger. But it will maybe leave a little bit but that's really negligible, honestly. So, this mower is basically clean. Um, so, I have to do a little bit more touching up to it. But let me get the wheel horse out here. Um, we're going to make that thing hopefully look pretty shiny here. Alrighty, y'all. So, I did not plan this. But right before we go to the wheel horse, I accidentally I cranked up a mower that actually ended up having a carb issue. That red one i just you know i've been sitting for a month or so old carb late gas out so how about this let's use some floor absorbent i'm gonna try them all in this video hopefully y'all are enjoying this again thank you super clean uh it says just to put it on there so only use to see how much I use. I didn't really use that much of it. So, Tell you what, let's let that sit while we clean the wheel horse and come back and sweep it up and see what's left. Alrighty, well, here's probably the one that you've been waiting for the most with this wheel horse. Um, we're just going to go all out with it. Uh, I brought, I thought I had it up here, but we're going to use the foaming action on this. And we're going to use the regular degreaser and also the aerosol version of it. We're going to see how clean we can get this thing. Again, it's been sitting in a barn for a good little while, so it really, really could use a wash. Um, so let me grab what I need. We'll start spraying. All right, so here's the uh, aerosol. This is the foaming. What I want to start out is the foaming on the engine where all that oil and mess was that I showed you at the beginning of the video. Which is right up, mostly right up front here. Just from, again, just from where it's been, hasn't been used in a while. Or where it hasn't really been washed. So, let's turn it on. And let's just see what happens. So, that's the foaming stuff. Like I said, I'm just going to put that on the oily, extra oily part. I've got some on this side as well. We'll do it about right there. All up top here. I know Bruce Pender, if you're watching, this is a good company sending me a product like this is a good excuse to do what you always say that I need to do and that's clean my machines before I start working on them so all right I think that's good enough 
I don't think I quite like the spray nozzle as much as the regular degreaser, but you know, I guess that the way that the foamer has to work, that's the nozzle you have to use. So really, like I said, just a minor gripe. Not really even. So let's look at what it's doing here. You can kind of see it working on the engine, which is good. I'm going to spray a little bit more on the inside right there where you see... that and that we won't get this thing sparkling here hopefully like i said i've enjoyed or really liked what i've seen so far and it really does take a lot to impress me so that does say that does say enough um here let's use the aerosol on the wheels since the regular works so well on the craftsman wheels We'll shake this up. Is there anything different here in the appropriate strength? Rinse thoroughly. Again, it recommends eye and eye protection and gloves. I like this. I like this aerosol stuff. It says it's new. You can kind of, I'll spray the back wheel. I'll show you that where it's working on the front. Like I said, that, that aerosol is really cool. Um, you can kind of see it already working on the back tire here, where it's just kind of foaming up. Again, you know, they don't want, they say don't let it dry on the on the surface. So let me do a test run of what I just sprayed on the engine and on the uh, tires, and let's see what happens in real time here. How about that? Y'all saw it in real time, I'd say that's pretty good. Let me clean off clean off the lens. Let me turn the pressure washer off. Let me see if I can show you where I started and where I finished here. 
so this is kind of where I finished. Look at look at the um, way the stickers look on this thing now. It's great. It's awesome. Um, got a mouse nest to clean out inside of it. But I just kind of sprayed a little bit. You can kind of see where the oil residue is up top. Right here on the bottom, you can see it is all gone. I just see the cast iron block. And that was with actually with very minimal spraying, honestly. The wheels came out very good. That's just rust that you see there. And on the front, it had a bunch of caked on grease, which is very which is near about impossible to get off so that's all it left which i mean you can't fault the cleaner for that and then one more look here on the back you can see what i started with with the um a little bit of pressure washing will get the rest of that off with what i started here in the back with and what i'm ending up with and that was with that was with light pressure washing that's pretty light in terms of the washer um, obviously you could take a rag or something along those lines and get the rest of this residue off I'm just trying to knock the big stuff off and this thing's doing it great so let me go ahead and finish this mower this wheel horse I'll show you the final product and then we'll do a wrap on what I think of these super clean products as you can probably tell it's uh, pretty pleased with them so let me go ahead and finish the wheel horse I'll show you the final product and then we'll do an evaluation all right, the wheel horse looks amazing. I'm gonna uh, prolong it a little bit. We're gonna sweep this up, see how uh, see how it absorbed the fuel here. So again, we use the floor absorbent. Just for the you know 15 minutes that I had down there, it did soak everything up. It did leave a little bit of residue. However, that'll dry. That'll dry just fine. And like I said, if I waited a little bit longer, it probably would have soaked everything up. So, worked pretty well. Um, just like probably any any floor absorbent wood, which is good. Again, the advantage to this one, and I'll put that on that little oil spot there. The advantage to this one is that it is um, more eco-friendly than most. So you get the same, if you're more eco-conscious, they, uh, it's kind of more eco-friendly. Really won't harm anything. It's all natural. So again it's not gonna cause you any harm by using it but it works pretty well for just that short amount of time i put on i'll finish sweeping this up and let's go check out the wheel horse so we're still drying here but take a look at this thing it, it did a very good job um, i used the foaming spray on it on the engine just for the extra tough stuff that seemed to work extremely well so the foaming action and then I used the I was thinking of the foaming but I used the aerosol which I've already put back in the garage I used the aerosol on it I really really like the aerosol because you can see where you sprayed it and also it sprays over a wider swath so you get it done really quick usually it would take me a lot longer to spray and then clean it off and stuff like that so it didn't expedite the process but i think it turned out pretty good a lot of the stuff you see on the wheels and stuff is rust now so rust 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 but um i think the biggest difference the hood it got everything off it actually didn't leave any sort of mildew residue or anything which is pretty impressive there's a little bit on the back here but that's the stuff that's really been caked in over the course of years and years. Most of the surface stuff and also kind of the mid-grade stuff, 
all I did was do a light wash with the pressure washer and it got it all off like just with like one or two little passes and I wasn't even that close with the pressure washer which is great so let's look under here most of what you see is cast iron block now um, and not oil so that's that's all cast iron block as you can see my finger is clean um, and then that's all just kind of rust and very very deep down ground stuff that nothing's going to get so I'm like I said I'm pretty impressed with it um, I didn't get I don't think I got under the air filter very good this is just a quick wash honestly I didn't you know spent maybe 15 minutes at the most on it so I'm very pleased with the with the foaming spray it did wonderful and I'm also very pleased with the aerosol um, there's really not anything that I have not been pleased with so far with uh, with any of these products that sticker residue right there so I would need some sort of uh, buffer to get that off anyways just from where the sticker is um, kind of come off there but again I'm really it's pretty remarkable especially what the degreaser does on the tires and also the whole mower so let me hop back in the garage let's do a wrap and uh, just tell you what I think of these products and um, what all we did in this video alrighty y'all so here are the products again and uh, so we had we had pretty good luck with them I would say um, actually really good I'm really surprised the um, Floor absorbent worked really well on that fuel spill back there. The uh, foaming, it did really well getting that grease and oil off of that wheel horse, so I was happy about that. The all-wheel cleaner is good. It doesn't seem as potable, so it's not going to hurt your wheels like if you just potentially spray just the degreaser on it. Um, I would recommend one thing, though is if you don't let me do this real quick if you don't use tire shine i would recommend if you can get off the wheel spray the degreaser on the tire um it'll do a little bit better job of getting the dirt off of the tire that's really the only thing i found um again be careful with degreaser you might any degreaser may leave some residue so try it on an area that you don't really care about before you actually try it on a on an area that you want to see clean. So, wheel cleaner, that was good. Really knocked off the brake dust pretty, fairly nicely and left no marks or water spots. Um, the regular degreaser, very good. Um, we got it off of those Craftsman tires right there. So, and then the foam makes, is just as good and it makes your job a lot easier um, and a lot quicker to to spray and you kind of know where it's working and the areas that it's in so thank you again super clean i appreciate you sending me some product and uh knowing the company that you all are and how much how passionate you are for the product it doesn't surprise me that it works great um so i like i said i appreciate you reaching out to me got about 2200 subscribers and just let me try this stuff out i know it's a little bit long but i wanted to give a little bit of a detailed description of what i was doing how i was applying it and the results and they're very good results so I'll give y'all, I'll end y'all with one brief synopsis. I've got everything all buttoned up and back in the garage. So there's the element. As you can see, the wheels turned out really good, especially after I wiped them down. After, uh, really, it was, it just made the job 
easier than usual much easier because the degreaser worked really well you can see where i missed a couple of spots with the pressure washer on the tire but you can see how clean the rest of the tire is on the, that craftsman that was the regular degreaser again we use the the foaming or the aerosol and the foaming deal on the wheel horse and i hope y'all can see how much cleaner that is compared to when we started the video so obviously the thing's 40 years old it's not going to turn out like a brand new lawnmower but it got air it got all the grease and all the residue off that it needed to um, again most of this stuff is just stuff that got blown around or some sort of rust right there so a quick hit with the pressure washer it it just worked really easily worked a lot easier than most mowers or than other things that i've tried so thank y'all again for watching again i'm not trying to sell a product or anything like that a company sends me something i'm going to test it and we'll see how and and i see how it works this one worked really well and it's on the cheaper side of some of your degreasers too so might save a couple of bucks over some others so thank you again super clean i appreciate everybody watching uh if y'all stuck with me this long a lot of y'all do and i appreciate it very much thank you again you'll see me use some more of these products on some future mower videos and i'll see you next time right here on ellis mowers